What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, and your boy took a little three-day hiatus from YouTube simply because I needed a break. Sometimes your boy needs to take a couple of days off to get back on the grind to really show why I do this YouTube shit, why I put videos out every day, so I had to take a little three-day vacation. I hope you guys completely understand, plus I'm transitioning to a new job. Uh, you know, Bailey has her own stuff going on. We're all... You know, going through life stuff. So sometimes this YouTube thing has to take a, a back seat, at least for a little bit. But we are back today here on this Monday episode of Treeb Talks. And we are going to be talking about five position battles that you need to watch for during the 2019 offseason. There are a lot of players that are set in stone to be the starter for the Jags. But there are a couple of positions, five of them to be honest that are going to have some competitors lurking behind them to earn the starting spot, ladies and gentlemen. So without further ado, this is five position battles to watch for in 2019. Number five, free safety. Now, there's a lot of arguments online talking about what the Jags should have done in the later rounds of the 2019 NFL Draft. There's the crowd that thinks they really should have tried to target a wide receiver. Then there's the crowd that really thinks they should have addressed depth at the free safety position during the 2019 NFL Draft. And I'm a part of that crowd. I do think even like a fourth, fifth round selection at that pick would have made sense and would have helped the team Overall, but now we have Jared Wilson back there who seems like he is going to be fit in as the starter in Jacksonville at the free safety position. And I'm not too worried about it. When Jared Wilson had his opportunity last year, he made the most of it. He made a lot of plays. He stood out. Jared Wilson, I think, is going to be a decent starting free safety, but there's a guy that's kind of knocking on his door by the name of Cody Davis. Cody Davis did not get a lot of playing time last year, got slim to none. But he's going to have an opportunity to start at this free safety position. Now to say that Jared Wilson is somebody that has gone above and beyond and has the starting spot locked up no matter what would be very, very ignorant. Because he has not done anything to really solidify himself as that starting safety. Yes, he came in in 2018, made some plays, and did pretty alright for the most part. But, like I said, as a starter, it's definitely not set in stone. And this Cody Davis kid is a baller. He was an undrafted rookie. And uh, we got him from the Raiders, I believe. And then he played for us last year. And, you know, he's he's a baller. You know, he's a, just as good as Jared Wilson. He didn't get as many snaps as Wilson did. But he's going to be breathing down his neck. And he's going to have an opportunity to start. And he's going to have a battle with Jared Wilson throughout training camp and throughout the offseason. So do not be surprised if Cody Davis makes a run for the thing at free safety defensive tackle now the defensive tackle spot is going to be held down by Marcel Darius and Avery Jones and like I said it's really nitpicky this year because it seems like a lot of guys are slotted into their spots and I think defensive tackle is one of those Avery Jones came around in 2018 and had a great year I remember seeing Avery Jones out there thinking damn Avery is tearing up he's having a great game so I think he definitely deserves his starting spot but there's going to be some competition breathing down his neck a little bit with Taven Bryan. Taven Bryan is going to have an opportunity to come in through the rotation to play the defensive tackle spot and the nose tackle spot where Avery Jones is going to play. And like we say, you know, Avery Jones was a starter last year. And, you know, he came in for Malik Jackson after the Jags kind of benched Malik. And he came in, you know, made some plays. But he's another guy that hasn't necessarily earned his keep I would say he's been on the team now for I believe three four years so he's been around for a while but he's definitely gonna have some competition Taven Bryan's natural place was the defensive tackle spot and I think if he can go and reach his college form in the NFL Avery Jones is gonna have some competition breathing down his neck by the man of a name of Taven Bryan I think Taven Bryan is gonna have a tremendous up you know a better season than last year I think his stock's gonna rise up I don't think he's gonna do necessarily fantastic things I think maybe four three or four sacks is realistic you know last year only getting one uh, was a letdown so three or four sacks I think for Taven Bryan this year and I think he can make a case to start over Avery Jones might be a hot take but he definitely has a chance to do it this offseason to start above Avery Jones and have Avery Jones kind of rotate in but Taven again he's gonna get his opportunity to play whether he's starting or not and I'm really excited to see what the kid can do in 2019 tight end 
Now, the Jags drafted a tight end in the third round, obviously, Josh Oliver. And a lot of us think that that just genuinely, genuinely means he's going to be starting next season. However, I don't see that happening. And it's weird to me because I don't think Josh Oliver fits the scheme in Jacksonville. I think that this was kind of a bad selection by the Jags. I think if any draft pick is not going to end up panning out, it's probably going to be Josh Oliver or Quincy Williams, you know, one of the third round selections. And there's a couple of guys in here that have been in Jacksonville for a while. Obviously, there's a new offensive coordinator, but they know how they want to play football here in Jacksonville. And I'm just saying, do not be surprised if a James O'Shaughnessy or a Ben Koyak gets the start in 2019. And maybe Josh Oliver will be brought along a little bit and then he'll come in Ernest Keep be a starter down the road. But like I said in the draft video, I don't think he's going to be a starter right off the bat. Like I said, I think he's going to have to earn his keep. He's going to have to develop into a good player because he's not a finished product. There's a lot wrong with his game, and that's why the Jags have a lot of depth tight ends. You know, none of these tight ends are going to be starters anywhere. You know, these guys are pure depth tight ends and guys that will be around to kind of bring Josh Oliver along. So if I had to bet... I would say Jeff Swaim's going to get the starting spot, and then when there's two tight sets, I think Swaim and maybe O'Shaughnessy and maybe Koyak will be in. I would not even be surprised if Oliver's fourth on the depth chart, to be honest, because I think the Jags really want to bring this kid along and only put him in during situations where they think he could be an option, a receiving option, you know, maybe split him out in the split him out wide, which is something he did a lot in San Jose State. But we just don't do that with our tight ends very often, you know. Our tight ends are usually have their hand in the dirt, ready to block, and they'll run their passing routes from that stance. You know, they are down in the dirt as linemen. You know, we don't really split our tight ends out wide. So with that being said, I think they're going to try and bring Josh Oliver along. I don't think he's going to be the starter week one. But it's definitely, definitely a competition to keep your eye on. Backup quarterback. Now, Cody Kessler came in in a couple of games in 2019. Uh, he came in during the halftime of the Houston Texans game where he looked all right. He ended up throwing a touchdown pass, and everybody's like, oh, my God, is Cody Kessler going to save the franchise? And then he did basically the same thing he did in Cleveland, and that was just be mediocre at best. The guy doesn't really turn the ball over, but he cannot make the uh, the throws that you need to make to be an NFL quarterback, and that's just how it goes. The Jags brought in Gardner Minshew through the NFL draft, and I think Gardner is going to be giving Cody a run for it. I think by the end of training camp, the unofficial depth chart will come out, then the official depth chart will come out, and Gardner Minshew the third will be labeled as the second string quarterback in Jacksonville. You know, he's going to have to battle out Cody Kessler, who some of their game is kind of similar. They both don't really have the deep ball accuracy, but Gardner does have these short and the intermediate route uh, options. And he's also a lot more decisive than uh, Cody Kessler. Cody Kessler would hang around the pocket and kind of throw late. Gardner, you know, right when he takes it, he looks at his reads, reads it, and he drops it off and gets rid of it. So I think Gardner Minshew is going to be able to beat out Cody Kessler to be our backup quarterback heading into next season. But it is, again, a position battle to keep your eye on. And number one, the right tackle position. There is a couple of guys that can fight for an option to be our starting right tackle in 2019. You got Will Richardson, who was a fourth-round pick by the Jags last season. You got Cedric Ogabaye from the Cincinnati Bengals, who picked up from free agency. And you got Jaywan Taylor, our second round selection in 2019. You knew Jacksonville wanted to give Will Richardson all the competition he could handle because heading into the season, he was basically our guaranteed starter before free agency in the draft. And I know that that's kind of stupid to go off of because, you know, nothing's happened yet. But prior to that, you know, he was our undoubted starting right tackle heading into next season. And we didn't really know what we were getting with him because obviously he didn't get a lot of playing time of any last year. So again, we didn't really know what we were getting. And then we got Cedric Ogobaye and he was, he was not the best right tackle for Cincinnati. Let me just say that he wasn't great. But he might be better than Will Richardson. We've never seen Will Richardson play. So that was going to be a battle throughout training camp to see who was going to be the guy. And then in the second round, the Jags get the steal of the draft, selecting Jaywan Taylor, the man that a lot of people thought the Jags were going to snatch up. In the first round, they bring him into the room, and now we got ourselves a three-man competition. This is the position battle to keep your eye on throughout the 2019 season, if there was one. The other ones are ones that, you know, you should keep an eye on because maybe it'll shock you. But if you want a pure competition where you don't know who's going to win that competition and you don't know where the Jags are going to go, 
look at the right tackle position. There's cases to be made for all three of these guys. Jawan Taylor, obviously a rookie. He's exciting. You know, throw him in there, give him the opportunity. Cedric Ogobaye, he has the starting experience in Cincinnati. You know, an experienced guy, throw him in. Let's see what he can do at right tackle. And then you got Will Richardson, who's a guy we snatched up in, I believe, the third or fourth round of last year's draft, who we really, really liked and who we thought we could bring along. You know, that's why he didn't play last year. We were trying to really bring him on into the system and to be our starting right tackle eventually at some point. So now you've got all three of these guys that the Jags truly think they can put in at the right tackle position. And all three of them have cases to be starters. And whoever doesn't start, the Jags are going to have great depth on the, at the right tackle position. So even you know if a man gets injured or if a man doesn't play as well, they have those other two options to slide in there at the right tackle position. This is the position battle to watch in 2019, and I'm very curious to see how it pans out. And that was me going over the five position battles to watch for next season. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook, at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter, at Troop Talks. Or follow me on Instagram, at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, you can pick up some Troop Talks merch over at, Troop, at uh, teespring.com forward slash store forward slash Troop Talks. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. And nobody outworking me, Dungeon Straight Facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great day.